Calm down. Calm down? Thanks to you, Sally's getting done for an escape attempt on top of her existing murder charge. The odds were against her. It was in her best interest. Her interests or yours? What? I must have been mad to think that I could trust an amoral, self-centred <coughs> snob like you. I'm sorry, am I boring you? Cancel your plans. I need your help. Whatever this is, can you make it quick? Certainly. By the end of the day, you will have freed Sally St. Clair and imprisoned one of your own in her place. How do you work that one out? Have you ever heard of Dr. Ian Samuels? He's a DNA expert. He's the best in the country. Gold star. Well done, you. He's just agreed to examine the evidence. Prove a little theory of mine. Which is? That Sally's DNA was placed on the clothes after the murder. You're clutching at straws. Which is why it is only one ace up my eye-wateringly expensive sleeve. I'm getting impatient. See, I've set something in motion. Something that will expose the contemptible corruption at the heart of D-Valley Police. Are you saying that I am corrupt? Your department, your responsibility. Though, it has to be said, I do think you are one of the good ones. Tar very much. PC Smith is corrupt. You know it, and I know it. But you do exactly as I say, and you and your career can emerge from this unscathed. Where do you think you're going? I need to see Sally right now. Tough. Mummy dearest is about to be taken back to her prison cell. You don't understand, Kate. It's, it's really important that I see her. It's about a case. Take another step. I dare you. You're going to tell me exactly what's going on. You like having power over people, don't you? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's why you became a police officer. Keep that sappy little gob of yours shut. When you get home at night, you take off that shiny police uniform. All that's left is a sad, lonely little man. Sally's the one who's going to be sad and lonely when she's spending the rest of her life guzzling down prison slop. Yeah, I, I thought that too. But then there's this potential new evidence, isn't there? What new evidence? James has hired a DNA expert. He's going to examine George's clothes. What's there to examine? We already know it's Sally's DNA on the clothes. But it could have been put there after the murder, couldn't it? And that's what our expert is going to assess. You see, he's taking George's clothes down to the lab this afternoon, and if it transpires that someone has been tampering with the evidence, well, they'll be the ones guzzling down prison slop, won't they? Boss. Just wrapping something up. This is a joke. How long are we going to follow him for? Smith, put that bag down now. Smile. What is this? The end of the road. You set me up with these mugs and their DNA guy. Actually, there was little chance our DNA expert could prove anything. All we had to do was catch you in the act, and Sally goes free. No. Sinclair murdered George. She's guilty. Irrelevant. The CPS advised that as long as I could prove the police had tampered with the evidence, her case would be thrown out. What possible reason would any policeman have to dispose of this evidence? I'm sorry. Everything just... Escalated. I wanted justice for George, and I was so angry. So you just decided to take the law into your own hands? You'll go down for this. I know. All right. My, my head was all over the place when George was killed. You really are a pathetic excuse for a police officer. Do you know that? Come on. Well, that's it, then. The nightmare's over. I believe it might just be. You have to tell Sally the good news? Yeah, are you coming? No. That's the end of your perfect day. Mine ends with someone else entirely. All right? John Paul, why are you here? Do you fancy coming home? It's a long story. But we've managed to prove that Smith faked all the evidence against you. 
Sal? What's wrong? This is good news. It's great news. But I've already confessed to the crime smeater. So I'm not coming home, not today. You don't understand. The, the level of police corruption was so great that the CPS have said they've got no choice but to throw the case out. Are you absolutely sure? Because I can't take any more false hope. I really can't. I mean it, Sal. OK? Now, look, you, you won't be coming home tonight, but James says that there's no chance of you going back to prison. No, 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 just, just leave them be. The sound of hope. Oi, Nan. Give me that megaphone. I'm the one that nicked it. Some voices shouldn't be amplified. <laughs> <laughs>